a little bit. Yeah. Why, why, why don't you believe in the Bible? Let me ask you that. Because I've never been to, like, uh, introduced to it. Okay. All praises. So listen, bro. You about to be introduced up close and personal. Do not, do not run away from this word. Okay. We finished show you something good. Okay. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 again. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Listen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Those was a lot of words, but I'm going to make it plain and short for you, bro. It said if we did not listen to the voice of God and keep his commandments, okay, read, that all these curses, Christian, is a curse good or bad? Very bad, right? So it says that if we didn't listen to his voice and do his commandments, all these curses read, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That curses would overtake us and they would come on us. So meaning we would be in very bad conditions. You um, you from, where are you from? Mexico? From California. Okay, so watch this, bro. You, you Mexican, right? So watch this. Go ahead. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So now, is it is it sunshine and rainbows in Cali for the Mexicans? Not all the time. Not all. Come on now. More often than not, right? You understand? Yeah. And look at look at our people trying to come across the border now. Right. What are they trying to come away from? The uh, the corruption over there, right? The crooked police that take you, kill you, the cartel members. You understand? But they trying to come here to escape that, and what happens? Now they run into police that profile them, right? They run into what? They run into uh, uh, corrupt housing uh, authorities, right? So now we can't even live in the best neighborhoods because they won't accept our applications. We try to get jobs from these people, right? But they won't give us jobs. And if they do give us a job, as soon as it's time for cuts, what happens? We the, say it again, say it on the mic. We're the first ones. First ones what? To get fired. We the first ones fired, but we the last ones hired. How that makes sense? Bro, the Bible just said we would be cursed to have that happen. You understand? Yeah. Watch this, verse 32. Hey, hold on, no, no. Read 16 again, listen. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. It says we will be cursed in the field, okay? Now, that's a reference to slavery. The black, we know the black folks was in, in the fields picking cotton, right? We all know this, right? You see, you see those bottom gray images? It's a cartoon. We all know those, right? It's a cartoon. You know, you know, people don't want to always talk about the Mexicans was in the fields too. Yeah. You understand, yeah. bro? The Bible said that's a curse. The Bible said that's a curse that would happen. You understand? Yeah. It ain't too many people, bro. And, there, and some people are trying to tell you, well, other nations went into slavery. Watch this, Daniel 9 and 11, real quick. Bring it out. Nobody got hit worse than we've got hit. You understand? Right. Over 100 million Hispanics when uh, Columbus came over. Six. Slaughtered. 100 million natives, slaughtered. 100 million black folks, slaughtered. You know every other nation got reparations, right? Bring it out. Where's ours? Six. Yet to come, it's yet to come. We ain't getting it. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. Watch this. Read Daniel chapter 9 and verse 12. Come on. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us. No, 11. I said 11. It's 12. 11. Read verse 11. Verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. It says all Israel transgressed the law, meaning we all broke the commandments. Remember we just read in Deuteronomy, if we broke the commandments, we will be cursed. You remember that, right? Watch this, bro. Even by the party, uh -huh. that they might not obey thy voice. See that? Remember, the Bible said if we didn't obey the voice, that curses would hit us. Read. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Upon who? Upon us. You see that? It says the curse is poured upon us. It ain't talking about everybody. You understand that? This is us, bro. Watch this. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses. That's, didn't we just read? We read that in Deuteronomy 28. This is the prophet Daniel. Daniel lived during the uh, Babylonian captivity. That was hundreds of years later. You understand? So he said our people are still facing those effects hundreds of years after Moses was already dead. You understand that? Come on, read. 
the servant of God because we have sinned against him Come on. and he hath confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil the Lord brought this upon us bro because we think about it you 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 was you raised by your father what happened if you went against your father what do you do he, he told that he, you know what I'm saying? This is what the Lord doing for us because we are his children. Not everybody in the world. These people, you understand? These blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, these are the people that transgress God. That's why these people have it the worst on the planet. There's no way you can go that these people are not being oppressed. You understand that? This is what we're here talking about. Finish this up in the verse. Watch this. For under the whole heaven, for under the whole heaven, read, has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem, as it is written in the law of Moses. You see that? It said under the whole heaven, it wasn't done as bad as it was done to those people, the real 12 tribes of Israel. You understand? Let me show you, let me show you what's so important about the name Israel, bro. Watch this. Uh, Genesis 32. I'm going to show you why it's so important that we understand who we are in this Bible. Mexican is nowhere to be found in the Bible. Hispanic is nowhere to be found in the Bible. I'll give you a thousand dollars if it is. You will never find those words in the scriptures. But instead, you read about the tribe of Issachar, which is God's chosen uh, one of those 12 tri one of those twelve sons on that sign. Okay, watch this. Hold up, let me show you the sign real quick. So right here on this side, these are the names that the Lord gave us. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, Reuben. You fall under Issachar. You said you're so uh, Mexican, right? Your father's Mexican too? So you fall under the tribe of Issachar. But on the other side, those those are the names that the, our colonizers gave us. Our colonizers gave us these names, right? Mexican, uh, 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 Seminole Indian, black. You understand that? Yeah. Watch this. Let's keep on. Let's keep on going in this Bible. Come on. Genesis chapter thirty-two and verse twenty-seven. Verse 28, and he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So uh, Maria, Maria, you understand, English good? Okay, perfect. So this is what we're here telling our people. We're here telling our people that we are the Israelites in the Bible, God's chosen. Mexican, come look at this son. Come look at this. Hey, don't, don't, don't stray away, bro. You still need to hear this too, man. You understand? Mexican? Yeah. Is your father Mexican? Yeah. Mexican's not in the Bible. But instead, you read about Issachar. That's God's chosen people. Let me, y'all. Do y'all know uh, who Jacob is in the Bible? So, all right. So I'm gonna. You know who Jacob is, right? So I'm gonna show you something. Abraham. You've heard, have you heard of Abraham before? So Abraham had a son named Isaac. Okay. Isaac went on to have two sons, Esau and Jacob. Okay. Jacob's name is what we're reading about right now. Listen to this about Jacob. Come on. Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. Come on. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. He's no longer Jacob. Let's go. But Israel, uh -huh. for as a prince hast thou power with God. You see that? So Israel means prince of the power of God. Everybody doesn't have that privilege, bro. Okay? No one else has that privilege to call themselves that except the Israelites. That's why we're trying to show our people that everything we've been taught is a lie. Okay? Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Let me show you something. Let me show both of you something. I need y'all to pay attention with me, okay? What we're here showing y'all is that we've been cursed as a people. Okay? What's the condition of Mexico, sis? Is it good or bad? It's bad, right? So our, our, our Mexican brothers try to come over here, right? But what happens? Do they get treated better? No. 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 Okay, so, so when our people come over here, do we become CEOs? Do our people come over here to own companies? Or do most of our, our Mexican brothers come over here and they become servants? You understand what I'm saying, bro? That happened. Don't that happen? Yeah, Watch this. Deuteronomy 28. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. That's it. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and our daughters are given to another people. What does that mean? That means our children would be removed from us. 
Y'all remember how all of our Hispanic children were locked up in cages? That wasn't that long ago. You know that, right? Yeah. You know that was like less than five years ago our children was in cages? Do y'all know that? Five that was, years back? Yeah. Right, exactly! That's what we're here telling you. The, the Moses wrote this oh, thousands of years ago. But our people are still living it less than five years ago. And it's still happening. You understand? Some of them children got captured as long as as uh, as young as three years old, four years old, five years old. They never seen their parents again because they died in the cages. Y'all understand that? Three years and I'm that's good. Right, that's bad that they died. They died, sister, they never saw their parents again. Watch this, bro. Come on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing, for there shall be no and fail and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. And there was no power for us to get our children back. You got kids? You got kids? How would you feel to have your child taken and you could never see them again? You wouldn't know what to do with yourself. That's a curse. It is a curse to have someone else take your kids and now you can't see them no more. Right? When some of the uh, back in the days, you know, they told they told the um, the ancient Aztecs they spoke in a form of ancient Hebrew. Okay? And when they came over, when the colonizers came over, you know, they told them stop speaking that language. You got to learn Spanish. Did the Mexicans know Spanish before the colonizers came over? No. No, they did not. But they were forced to learn it. And now, now it's so bad when they come over here, they're not even taught the language no more. Now they just uh, straight up speaking English. So now they can't even connect with some of their ancestors. That's a people destroyed when you can't reach out to your older generations. You know what I'm saying? That's a curse in the Bible, bro. Come on. Yeah, give me 49. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. Oh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, at, from the end of the earth. It says the Lord would bring a nation from the end of the earth. When the, when the Mexicans were conquered, where did the enemy come from? Where did they come from? Who conquered the Mexicans? Spanish conquered Mexico, right? Where did they come from? They came from the end of the earth. They came from Spain, all the way over here to take our brothers away. You understand? That's what we see right here on these signs. Watch this. Watch this, bro. Watch out. Watch out. Graphic this gets. Come on. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the, as the eagle flying. What's the symbol of Spain, Christian? Uh, I'm finna show you. I'm finna show you. It's right here, bro. Look at this, look at this, look at this. We see Rome, what's their symbol right there? We see Spain, what's that symbol? We see America, what's that symbol? They all symbolize the eagle, same thing on the dollar bill. Same thing right here for the Greeks. Read verse 49 again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flying. That's why they were, that's why look, this is their symbol. It says as swift as the eagle. The, every, the symbol of the French is an eagle. The Germans use an eagle. You understand that? All these white folks use the eagle. Okay, read. A nation of fierce countenance. And when they came over here, they were very fierce against our people. Hey, grab this one for me, bro. No, no, just grab that one. Yeah. Hold it up. Just hold it up right here. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Did we understand the, co the colonizers when they came over? No, we did not. But look what they did. It said a nation of fierce con countenance, meaning they, they just had an angry disposition to them. They were hateful towards our people. Okay, read. A nation of fierce countenance, huh? which shall not regard the person of the old, uh -huh. nor show favor to the young. It says they didn't care how old we were. Watch this. Let me draw this one. Okay, I got you. Watch this one, bro. You too, Maria. Look at this. Look at this one right here. Look at all these people. Look at how they got us hanging by our necks. This is what they did when they conquered us. You understand that? Look at how they did our people. Matter of fact, watch this. Look, look, look. Y'all ain't even see the worst one yet. Look at the baby. 
How is he holding this baby? How is he holding him? He holding him like a baseball, like a baseball bat. You know what I'm saying? What is he about to do with this baby? He about to smash his, this is a stone right here. He about to smash his head on the stone. This is how they killed our people. And they said, and this is what they said. So I remember the brother told you, the brother told you initially that Christ was black, right? But when they did this to our people, let me show you something. Let's go, let's go. When they came and killed our people, bro, watch this. They told, they, they told us to bow down to right here, right? And they burned our people here, right? And they said, you have to worship this image. You understand that? This is what happened. This is why every, when you ask anybody on the earth today, this is why they always point to this as Jesus Christ. Watch this. Let me show you an example. Senora! Senora! Hey, hey, ask her who this is real quick. Just real quick. Ask her who this is. Quienes aquí? Tu mundo dices es qué? Es Cristo o Cristo? ¿Qué? ¿Quién es el hermano? She said the world says that's Christ. You see that? You see that? She, 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 Everybody says this is Christ. Bro, we can ask a hundred people on this block. They all gonna say this Christ. Bring it out. You understand? Hey, Second Corinthians 11. We coming, we coming back to that. Second Corinthians 11. Watch this, y'all. Hey, don't go nowhere, Maria. Listen to this. I'm, I'm gonna translate. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Second Corinthians 11, verse three. Come on. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse three. Come on. But I fear, that's by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through its subtility. So the same way that Eve was tricked in the garden, okay? Watch this. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. It says that our minds would be, it, you listen to the it says our minds would be corrupted from the simpleness of Christ. Christ, the understanding of Christ is simple. He only came for the 12 tribes, keep the commandments, he was black. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. 